Hi, I'm Mick Rage. I'm the CEO of Rochette Pathology. Today I want to talk to you about some of the recommendations that uh, Health and Human Services has come out for labs. For years, labs have been gathering data and getting demographics for uh, billing and, and for handling their processes going forward. Now, um, they have a requirement of gather, gathering race uh, or, anesthes or anesthesity, which is a word I don't say well, um, and putting these uh, out to, to various state and uh, national organizations. Well, this is a problem. Most labs don't have race on their requisition form. In fact, it would be considered almost an insult to put that on there. Um, now, this is becoming a requirement. And moving forward, labs are going to have to figure out how to put this on their rec. Well, they're also going to have to communicate with the referring physician to make sure that somehow that's put on the rec there. Um, there's some, some big issues with this. The, there are millions of these requisitions and ABNs out there that are being used, and they're all going to have to be rewritten to, to have this checkoff form. And I understand why. They're trying to track different diseases and how things are being uh, put together. And they have to report this both to state and national organizations and do it in a correct way. Now, the issue is if they don't do it right, what happens? Well, various states are going to have some penalties for it. We haven't seen a national law or national penalty for not reporting this yet. But I think as we go forward and we look at how the nation handled COVID and how it's going to handle the next COVID-like uh, process that comes out, next disease process like this, we're going to have to start looking at this better. We're going to have to figure out a way to do this. Now, some states have come out and said, hey, if you don't do this, it's an OSHA violation, and it's going to be a major penalty. Um, and they've had to pull back from that because they realize labs can't simply perform that this overnight. It's going to take time to get all the labs redone, all the software rewritten to include these, these fields, and then, then be able to spool that up and report it to the right people. It's going to be a struggle. Uh, we work with uh, NILA, the National Independent Lab Association, and a couple other associations in the nation to, to help out with this and to listen. And we have many clients in our lab world that have come to us and said, what do we do? And I guess the only thing now is to do your best going forward. I'm sure if you show a good faith effort and you're trying, um, th there, won't, there won't be a penalty placed on you. But six months from now, I, don't, I think not having this on your form and not reporting it will be a major issue. And you will see 2021, probably January, we'll probably see some state laws or some national laws coming out saying that every every clinical lab test has to be reported a certain way. Again, I'm Mick Rach over here at Vichette. If you have questions, you have concerns, pick up the phone, give us a call. We'll do our best for you.